so this here is Chief and Piper. They're two new intakes that we just took in um, this past weekend. Um, Chief is a Dutch Shepherd and Piper is a black and tan, or well, actually she's a bicolor, sorry. And they're two very young dogs. Um, I'm guessing he's probably 14, 15 months. And she's, uh, I thought they were gonna fall into me. Uh, she's probably a year. Her teeth are super white. His are really white too. Obviously they got the same energy level. Um, we've got to get her spayed. He's already neutered. He's fully vetted. She's got to get vetted yet. So we'll get her to our vet this week. Um, both are available through imminent danger German Shepherd Rescue. This is what happens, folks. People get these dogs. Doesn't matter if it's a Malinois or a Dutch Shepherd or a German Shepherd. They get these dogs. They do no training with them. They buy this cute little puppy. And then, you know, they turn into knuckleheads because they are not shown any leadership. They're not allowed to expend all that energy. And, sorry, they're running around and I'm trying to fix the gate here. Come on, you guys, get up here. Come on. Let's go over here in this yard. Come on. And then no training. So no boundaries, no structure, no routine. You get people who have problems in their life and they should have never got the dog to begin with and they think this will solve their issues and it does not. It's a chronic epidemic, guys. Chronic. We're not the only rescue dealing with and facing with these problems. It's constant. What's going to happen when I have to shut my rescue down because I can't do this forever? And yeah, we're fed up. We're working as hard as we can, as fast as we can to save lives and... It's just absolutely ridiculous. They need a big yard to run around and play in. They need training. Hi, how are you? They need leadership. Leadership is not being cruel or harsh. It's setting boundaries. It's speaking with authority. Ah, that's enough. Settle down. See how I'm talking? That's showing authority. If your teenage children or your soon to be teenage children are roughhousing, and getting into it in the house and throwing stuff, do you speak sternly to them to knock it off? Yeah, you would, or you should. And if you don't, then you're creating bigger problems down the road with your kids. So these two need full obedience. Um, they're both crate trained. I mean, they've been with me just a few days. They're sleeping all night in their crate. He fusses a little bit in his crate initially, but uh, he's doing okay. He's doing all right. He's a good boy. He needs leadership or he'll be a jerk. And you don't want a jerk dog. You want a dog who has good manners and you have to put the work into it, folks. You cannot have a dog like this without setting boundaries, having structure, having a routine, and then training. It's everything. This is like adopting a kid. And, and you wanna have a good relationship with your dog, you wanna have a good experience, then you need to work with your dog. Otherwise, don't get one. I just can't emphasize this enough because we just deal with this constantly. Hi, you're a good boy. Sit, 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 sit. How old are you? Let me see those teeth. They're pretty white. Maybe he's two years old. I don't know. At any rate, Chief is available for adoption through imminent danger German Shepherd Rescue and Piper's available too. It's gonna be a couple weeks probably before we can get her spayed. We have some spay and neuter appointments. Uh, this Well, one this week that's got another dog going in and then some others for next week. So we'll get her in as soon as possible. Please fill out an application on our website if you're interested in a great hiking partner, you need a playmate for your dog that's got equal energy You know, it's like a UFC uh, wrestling match when you have dogs like this. They're going to wrestle and romp and play hard. Hi, how are you? So Piper, the black and tan, and then Chief, the Dutch Shepherd.